All right, guys, it's New Year's Eve 2021, and we're ending 2021 by opening a collector box of Core 2021, which was actually printed in 2020 and is already out of print, as much sense as that makes, and already out of standard. But that's all good because we know who's in here, and I have, I have a feeling we're going to pull one. We are going to pull a Yug and at least one, I have a good feeling about it. All right, so this one's packaged different, or no, I think it's the booster pack where the commons are normally in the front. Yeah, so right after here, we get to the good stuff. Temple of Silence, Temple of Melody, Animal Sanctuary, Extended Art Foil. Not worth much, but still looks cool. Chandra's Incinerator. Garruk's Hardbringer, yeah, those, are, those two are some of the bulk... Uh, the bulk commons that you get, or I'm sorry, bulk rares that you get in the collector boxes. If you go ahead and look in our store, there's probably 10 or 20 of those things listed. All right, cool. Vito Extended Art. He is a pain in the ass to deal with, but Extended Art version of here. Then we got Nambia, who I just learned is Tefri's daughter. So she's cool. We got her right there. Bane Slayer Angel Foil. Scavenging Ooze. That's another bulk rare, but still a great card. Exile and shit out of the, your opponent's graveyard. Don't exile stuff out of your graveyard. Get stuff out of their graveyard. All right, then we got Gadrak there. Nine lives. This card actually screwed me recently in Arena because I I don't read fully apparently sometimes, and I didn't realize that once it uh that enchantment leaves the game, you lose. That shit is over. And all right, that was a pretty weak pack. Maybe this will be like that last box where we're really going to get get crazy in the last few packs. Temple of Epiphany. Teferi's Ageless Insight. Cultivate. Everyone's favorite card. And there he is. I knew he was in here. Awesome. So we got Yugen here. This is the borderless version. Not the foil, but still it's the most expensive card in the set. With the exception of his foil version and then we got chandra right there so we got the two people mainly responsible for killing the eldrazi right there you got yugen and chandra all right so i don't know if we peaked here or we got basri volcanic another chandra's incinerator that's what i was talking about But for all of the core 2021 that I've opened, she's not worth much, but I just have not seen many of her in that, that exact version, especially in a foil. Thieves Guild Enforcer. Another veto, cool. That time foil. The Simulacrum, been around forever, always reprinted. And another Tefari's Tefri. How do you say that? Tefri, Teferi. Temple of Silence, Sublime Epiphany, all right, it's a borderless foil on this one. Some of these borderless foil versions are actually fetching decent money, and they seem to be going up. I don't know if that's because this was the first few sets where they actually did. I think Throne of, I could be wrong, I think Throne of Eldraine was the first time we, uh, rather they did, like, the extended art and kind of started that trend of all the different variants. Pack Leader. More volcanic uh, salvo, whatever. It's worthless. Double vision. That is a really effective card right there, especially in command there. And surprisingly, that card is pretty much worth next to nothing. All right, then we got Basari right there. Extended art on him. And then that's it for that pack. Alright, another Temple of Epiphany. These Skylands are not worth much, so. Then the Extended Art Foil right there. Massacre Worm. That thing is still fetching decent, decent money. Cultivate. Cultivate is everywhere. And then we got the Standard Bear right there. And Liliana. Sanctum of All. I've been surprised. I guess people do make Shrine decks because this card does sell a lot online. 
which I was surprised about. Glorious Anthem, the card that had to replace Crusade. Another Cultivate. More Simulacrums. And yeah, we're hitting all the duplication here. Two packs left. Fiery Emancipation. That is a big one right there. That's probably a $20 bill, especially in the borderless version there. Doing triple damage. All your permanents do triple damage to other people's permanents. So that thing is a monster. Azusa. Very cool right there. Lost but seeking. Maybe in the next Kamigawa set, she'll finally make her way back to her homeland. And then, yeah, you can... Just tons of duplication in this box. All right, let's see what the last pack brings. No Grim Tutors yet. No Teferi Planeswalkers. No Elder Gargits. See if that changes here. All right, oh, cool. We got Matt. I'm sorry. Mangur there. I can't... Oh, whatever. The Diplomat. That is the extended art. I'm sorry, Borderless Foil on him. So that's cool. I've never pulled that exact version before. And same thing with Speaker of the Heavens. Now we're going to end with Liliana. And that's it. All right. Kind of a weak box, but Happy New Year. And uh, yeah.